Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Summerfest 2014. The gods hate Summerfest. For the last three years it's been like, well since the tornado there, it's been triple digit weather. Cooler weather, torrential downpour. But do, do, do the Summerfest committee decide to like reschedule it knowing that there's, you know, heavy rains from out west, a hurricane out east, and I'm not the only one. There are people on the Facebook page, once in Summerfest Inc., look below, saying, okay, well, the vendors obviously aren't considered. And I, it's just a money-making ploy, really. And they went up $5 from last year. And it's like... <laughs> then they outright lie, saying that certain things are in the paperwork that you sign in when it isn't. It's like, oh, I have it right in front of me. It doesn't say anything rain or shine, but the... the, the the website does. But, if you're a vendor and things are windy and rainy and torrential downpour, you're in a metal tent, you know, it's... They don't care. They just want your money and run. So, whether you show up or not, once they got your money, they got your money. It's just kind of shady. Yeah, I don't know. That's why it's like, oh, do I don't want to do this again this year? Do I want to not? So, I don't know. Wish me lots of luck. As long as I make the table back, I figure that's a success. I mean, if I could make this stuff, once I've made it, have it disappear would be great. So, finishing up the last bits and pieces. Tried to make myself all beautiful, and this is what you got. And I shall be off. Okay, this is sort of booth 4.0. My ideas, sort of, kind of working. <laughs> Looks better than I thought, so still not quite sure how to display that because people are weird and have like a problem with coffins. So I'm still kind of working with stuff. Vertical. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the space here. <laughs> How do we do this? There we go. Now, we still don't know about the weather. And people are slowly filing in. So, if you can handle, like, you know, baking on pavement, you should be able to handle a little dampness. <laughs> Hopefully it'll just be a rain, a drizzle, not, you know, torrential downpour, where we'll see, you know, animals two by two down the street. So, like the new tent with the fancy seating. So, now like the privacy part, they didn't put us in front, they finally listened to my complaining. Then then poor, poor lady here. <laughs> we'll have to learn the hard way, it seems. So, doofus boy left his stuff over there. I didn't put the tablecloths on, which probably I should have, but we'll just move stuff over kind of to the back of us. I would prefer, you know, but considering the weather, there are some things I was going to cut corners with, so. Okay, so I'm just sort of doing that. On to the next part. Hopefully, there is a next part. <laughs> If you don't see me, I've been electrocuted under the metal thing. Okay, I have officially finished setting up my booth. And I'm sure it'll start to rain, so I'll have to set down everything. So, my bags. Who'd have thought the $2 uh, <laughs> dowel worked out that, that good? There's my stuff. My other coffin purses. I'm sure you'll see probably can <laughs> I'm probably going to keep that one for myself. I'll probably do a separate video, an updated video on the ones that I've got. You know, explaining them more. So, here I am. It's supposed to start raining at like thunderstorms 11 p.m. p.m. a.m.? a.m. I'm still on p.m. I don't know. But more vendors showed up, which is kind of surprising, but Again, you're kind of stuck because they won't refund you. They're trying to find a way. It's been around for like 40 years. So, now we're just waiting for the public to show up. Eh. I thought they were supposed to close the roads. Are these vendors? I don't know. But at least I have a good idea of how to set up my booth. Much more organized and professional looking. So, 
I don't feel quite so ghetto. <laughs> new labels, kind of reduce the prices. Hard to make new stuff when you can't find room for the old stuff. So, we'll see. If anything, I got a YouTube vid. <laughs> Update, it is something o'clock. <laughs> 9.30. That's the problem with doing this in the morning. It's like 9.30 for three hours. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? But there are people slowly mulling about. People have come and looked, but then they want stuff for nothing, too. So, you know, the crafter's malady, basically. You know, they, you know the work you put into it. And my own mother can't work anymore. So, <laughs> oh well. Why is there a direct TV person there? Hmm. And it's like all the shinies are taunting me because I wanted to lo go shopping and <laughs> I'm like stuck here. It's like I, c I can't spend money I haven't earned yet, you know? So, but it is pretty dead. It's still empty right there. So, and I think up towards a that away direction, it's pretty empty, so. I don't know. Mm, like right after the parade, I'm expecting another rapture because everybody's gonna disappear. So I'm like, please, somebody buy something. I could sell like three bags or something. <laughs> My mother's like, well, if you you could sell them for like ten, if you could put you know make them in bulk, and it's like, yeah, I still have to store this crap too, you know. So that's why people go to my store and be, let me get rid of this stuff, please. <laughs> I just make it to make this stuff, and then I'm like, you know, the physics of matter, you know, these stuff takes up space. I mean, I would like to at least get what I put into it, you know? Is that too much to ask, really? Freebies from Dunkin' Donuts. I can't imagine anybody wanting the watermelon. This is something blue. <laughs> People are still... This is a preview of the parade. <laughs> and if you've seen my Summerfest video from last year, you know that's 90% of it, so... I'll, I'll negate you know, filming the parade for you. Maybe this will be under half an hour. But yeah, a lot of people were complaining about the booth person because our town is so, you know, pathetic and greedy that they're like, why didn't you have a rain date? Why don't you have a rain date? If it's a public venue, you should always have a backup plan. Comment down below if any of your towns, you know, if they have like a holiday fair or street vendor fair, if there's a rain date or if there isn't a rain date and what the hell's wrong with them. If they, you know, <laughs> do tell, I'd like to know. Uh, mother's doing some recon. Did I say that already? Probably. I haven't had any sleep. <laughs> Again, we all know what happens to me when I have no sleep. <laughs> okay. Strangely, I haven't gotten any strange you know, reactions to me talking to the phone. And I have not had one anxiety attack the entire day. And I, I, I seriously thank all of you who watch my videos, who give me incentive to do this for that. So, thank you. Which is, you know, the main reason I did the YouTube, as I mentioned before. Confidence! Thank you! So hopefully, we'll keep Keep going. Keep giving me that confidence. I am absorbing your vibe. I should probably stop rambling now, at least until the next section, right? <laughs> <laughs> time we go by the sign that says Munson Monster, we have no idea what the heck they're talking about. 
The Munson Monster is the giant hill they climb. <laughs> now I know. This thing really gets around. I wonder if they charge you extra to be in the parade on the train. <laughs> I think it's like seven dollars to ride. I think it was. It was like some insane amount. Can I just walk behind them? I just like the outfits. The music box. Punisher in the window after this truck after this truck goes by <laughs> in, the, in the doorway. Hi, Boo. Oh. There he is. I can actually see this green thing go by like out of nowhere. It's like they're throwing green frisbees. I thought I was slowly going mad. I don't know. <laughs> it was at a dangerous angle. I didn't find out. Waiting for the other other relative to traipse on by. Um, we have a slight technical issue there. Hey, hey you know why you should make there. this place handicap accessible. Yeah, right. Put a little ramp there. You would think there would be with the... The, the bank? Well, but that's over on the other side. But. Oh, never a handicap, but you can't do that. Well, that looks like fun. Uh, yeah. Busted up ankle. <sighs> Needless to say, I got hot in the rain. But I have made money. So, towards the table. I'm not quite sure if I've made it back. But I'm close. So, any help us 
some help. I don't know. Can have the we do things. Probably gonna be taking the ten up uh, the uh, I'm pretty sure I made my table plus a little extra besides. Despite the horrible weather. I'm very happy. My one of my coffin purses went. The one I was kinda of thinking of keeping for myself. <laughs> a bat pack found a home. He might have, but he was a little too small. A few more bags. So the less I have to bring home, the better. Hoorah! And I had a big sale. A few things all together, which was cool. And I, and I finally got to use my square register, my credit card thingy. So, good thing. Uh, so, wasn't a bust. So, that, that was the important thing, as long as I got the table back. But I've been having a lot of fun, too. So, that, that's really kind of the important thing, you know. <laughs> and, and my other brother witnessed it. Once mother disappeared, people came in. It's like, she stands. Like, all my relatives stand right here. That's kind of the only entrance I've got. It's like, duh. And it's like, well, you don't sell anything. Well, get your sorry ass out of the way. I mean, not that hard to figure out. And we did manage to fix the slight technical problem. So, things did get a little, little wet and damp, but, you know, if they can't get damp, you can't wash them. I mean, <laughs> these are meant to kind of wash. So, that's good. Uh, not quite sure what else to do. I haven't sold any earrings. Sometimes they go fast, sometimes nobody wants them. So, that's why I didn't bother bringing the other tree. And my, my seat got all wet. I had a puddle. And it's still congregating in there. Which is why I'm standing awkwardly. <laughs> so, yep. So I'm, I'm glad at least something went. <laughs> so I don't feel like I'm wasting my time, really, you know. But I usually don't do that anyway, but... Basically, it just gets Mother off my back. That's the main thing. <laughs> so. Alrighty. Now I'm just waiting for my coffee. And then maybe food and Marcy's later. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, and it is... It feels a lot later than it is. It's only 1.30. So... And people have stuck around. I mean, it's been intermittent showers. So you get like... And then nothing. And then nothing. So... Turned out better than I expected, which is not bad. So, rain I can handle, wind is a problem. These guys are already setting up shop after they took forever to set up. So, this is what's still hanging around. I'm, I'm boot. Arm outstretched. I'm kind of booth sitting our neighbor who makes pretty things, but I don't know if she wants to be filmed. So, uh, I'm stuck. But it was worth hanging out. Not quite sure what I'm doing now. People are kind of packing it in. Getting really empty. Hi. We are. Underneath my car, packing up, which was just as easy as setting up. So my car is really nice. I like you. When you have a place for everything, and you, you know, you learn to condense. Especially living in a trailer, it kind of teaches you that. Okay, she moves. There we go. So just taking down the tent. Go home. Find a dry pair of pants and shoes. <laughs> Hmm. So, so far, pretty good. Made the table plus. Once mother left, everything was well. <laughs> so, now yeah, just putting the tent in, working things around. No thunderstorms. See, I'm never sure which boom is what, so. Soggy but productive. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I could turn the camera around and you could say hi to my viewers. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I said I could turn the camera around so you're filmed and you could say hi to my viewers. <laughs> but I won't do that to you. <laughs> I'll do my outro later. <laughs> Electronics later. I shall officially do my outro and that I get my dry pants and <laughs> put up my hair. That's that's the problem with rainstorms and colored hair. You tend to bleed all over the place. So <laughs> hmm. Uh well, that was Summerfest 2014. Not a bust. So I'm I'm okay with that. <laughs> so but uh, according to our neighbor, they're going to be rethinking having a rain date since so many people complained. So it's like it should be a given, especially when everybody's paranoid after the tornado. Probably a good idea. Even if nothing happens, at least have the backup plan. So they're they're gonna consider that. So hopefully I get my next year's thing in the mail, so so you kinda I kinda consider what the table I've made back this year kind of goes automatically to ne next year if things work out. So, <laughs> I am that soggy, damp, ready to go for the next phase of whatever the heck it is we're doing. Thank you for watching. Do comment down below for, you know, if you've rained out at any shows you've been to. Uh, do write a thumbs up for soggy. Summerfest, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye.